What's going on, Jags fans? Hope you guys are having a good day. Before we get into this video, hit subscribe if you hate the Tennessee Titans and you love the Jags. Hit like if you hate the Texans and love the Jags. And then comment about how much the Colts are going to suck this year and how stupid they are for thinking Carson Wentz is going to be their savior. Do those three things for me before we get really into this video. Appreciate it. So today, we are going to be talking about what should the Jags do with that 25th pick? We've been talking about it forever. We know who's going first. What are they going to do at 25? I'm going to tell you what they should do at 25. They should get my man, Kadarius Toney, out of Florida. Now, typically, I don't like picking Gator players because they typically they just do not really work out for us. However, in this instance... I am totally on the Kadarius Tony bandwagon. I want him at 25. Now you may be saying, why DJ Chark, LaVisca Chenault just brought in Marvin Jones? Colin Johnson has a crap ton of potential and promise. Why would we spend a premium first round pick on a wide receiver? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Kadarius Toney is the next Tyreek Hill. This dude is a freak of nature. This dude is special. Okay? And in today's NFL, how do you win? Offense. You need offense. As much offense as possible. In the AFC, if we are to ever turn this thing around for good... And if we ever want a chance at a Super Bowl, or ever want a chance of being a consistent winner in the playoffs, we need to be able to put up between 30 and 40 points a game consistently. Now, to Jaguar fans, that's crazy talk normally. However, with the quarterback we got coming in and the weapons that are already in place, adding someone like Kadarius Toney might just be that little thing to put us over the top. I mean, can you imagine if you're a defensive coordinator and you have Marvin Jones and DJ Chark on the outside and they're rotating between LaVisca Chenault and Kadarius Toney in the slot. And then when once you're in the red zone, you got a dude like Colin Johnson out there, six foot six. The dude is huge. What are you going to do to defend that? What are you going to do? And plus Trevor can run. What are you going to do? You're not going to be successful. That's what you're going to do. So Kadarius Toney this past year, now, I will say, I know I kind of sound like a hypocrite with this. It is a little scary that he's kind of a one-year wonder. A little scary. A little scary. Because his first couple years didn't really do a whole lot. However, this past year, he had 70 catches, 984 yards, 10 touchdowns. Pretty good. Pretty good. Against Alabama, which is kind of the closest thing to like an NFL team that you get in college. He had eight catches, 153 yards, and a touchdown. Against LSU, nine catches, 182 yards, and a touchdown. That's pretty good. And from what I've seen, the dude catches with his hands. Like, the dude is not a body catcher. He's like, he snatches it. The dude snatches it, and he's absolutely that guy who takes a screen pass and turns it into 15, 30 yards. 15, 30, that was kind of a wide range, but you know you know what I mean. You know what I mean. He is that home run hit, and he's a, he's a burner deep, too. Jags don't really have that. Like, DJ Chark is fast, but he's not quick, if that makes sense. Of course it makes sense. Why else would I be saying it? So, my darling pick at 25, is Kadarius Tony, because with the evolution of the Visca Chenault, the veteran presence of Marvin Jones, I cannot stress how huge. I guarantee everyone watching this, he will be our another Calais Campbell for us in the sense of a free agent guy that we just fall in love with as Jags fans. I just, I, I feel it. I really, really do. DJ Chark will go back to what he was two years ago. Colin Johnson will emerge, and then if you add a guy like Tony who can take a screenplay and turn it into gold, sign me up for that. Sign me up for it. That's what I want. If the defense is going to suck, we might as well put up 35, 40 points a game. That's just how, how I look at it. 
I, I personally, I want almost all offense with those first four picks. I want almost all offense unless the board falls right. And I kind of hate to say this because the Jags have gone defense so much lately in the first round. But if one of like the defensive ends, like if Jalen Phillips or Gregory Rousseau were to fall to 25, then I would understand because outside of Josh Allen and Chase on, we really don't have like any pure edge speed guys on the team. Uh, Dewan Smoot's kind of more of a big end. So I get that, at which I will go into both of those guys at some point before the draft. Like, I get that if one of them are on the board, then I actually kind of feel like that's the way the Jags will go. However, if he's there at 25, Kadarius Toney, Jags need to pick him. My my want and desire is for after years and years of suffering with this team, horrific offenses, you know what I'm talking about, the Blaine Gabbards, and the Chad Hennies and the Luke McCowns and the Cody Kessler and Blake Bortles. You see, you see my hair, you see my hairline. You see how much it's going up. That's what that's from. That's what that's from. If I showed you pictures of me like ten years ago, my hair did not look like that. It looks like that because of the Jaguars and the offense that I've had to watch for <sighs> far too long. And all that's going to change now. At least I hope it does. It will and. Largely in part, if we pick Kadarius Tony, so that's my hope. That's my hope. Surround Trevor, which is with as much weapons as possible, and it'll overcompensate for our average offensive line, in my opinion. So that's what I think. I know that I didn't go a whole lot deep, like into his stat wise, because really outside of this past year, he really didn't have a whole lot. But if you just watch him, if you've never heard of Kadarius Tony, you never really watched his film, well, I say film, YouTube videos, just look him up. The dude's a beast, and the dude would be one of the best playmakers on this team already. And I'm excited about the possibility. Draft can't get here soon enough. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Would you go with uh, Kadarius Tony 25? Are you looking more towards defense? Are you looking maybe towards offense, but maybe another guy? Let me know in the comments. Hit like. Titans suck. Subscribe. Go Jags.